Our greenhouses contain thousands of plants at various stages of their life cycle, all being grown with the potential to help protect human life. The plants we use have been carefully selected due to their natural ability to host genetic material. These plants act as many factories to produce virus-like particles, which are designed to mimic the structure of a virus without being infectious. As a scientist, I have always been impressed and convinced by the power of nature. And the team at Medicago has always believed that plants have the potential to help us safeguard against emerging health threats. We've developed our plant-based technology to be able to respond quickly to the world's pandemics and have partnered with some of the brightest minds in the industry. Not only is our technology unique, but so is our team. I come from a family of medical practitioners. So ever since I was a little girl, I knew that uh, the field of medicine has a lot to offer. That's where my love for this field began. At Medicago, when we decide to work on a target disease, the first thing we do is synthesize the gene of interest. Next, the target gene is introduced into a soil bacteria. This is a soil bacteria that has a unique property of being able to transfer DNA from itself to the plant. We submerge the leaves into a liquid culture of dilute bacteria. Then we apply vacuum. So it's a bit like, uh, let's say, squeezing a sponge into a bucket of water and letting go. By this process, we are able to introduce bacteria into the leaf and the plants do the rest for us. After about a week, uh, we do what we call harvesting. And that means that we take the leaves off the plant and take, bring them back to the lab to process them to purify our product of interest. But it's all trapped inside the plant cells. We now have to break open those cells, bring the material out, purify it to standards in order to end up into a vial that's ultimately administered as a vaccine. To me, close to my heart is to bring vaccine to low and middle income countries because I was really boots on the ground and the Ebola outbreak. I did all the outbreaks from 2006 to uh, 2020. I'll tell you, this is the most important moment for my myself. The world of vaccine is changing by the day. We're seeing more change and more progresses and advances in the past 12 months than in the history of vaccination. The great advantage of the plant is that when you grow those plants, what you need is a field, basically, to make this plant produce the vaccine. The plant vaccine product is very important they can influence vaccine hesitancy or vaccine uptake in a positive way. And this is what, in public health, that's what's important. I personally see that the future is very bright. I mean, the capacity that we have right now to respond to challenges, to respond to the needs of the world, we're going to be multiplying that manifold in the future. It's a nice feeling to be able to make a difference.